Good day, lovers of STEM. Today, let's talk about state machines. We frequently use state machines to describe robot programs because it's a way of showing a timestamp on what the robot should do based upon various inputs. For example, if I make a state machine for obstacle avoidance, I could have a too close state, a little close state, and a far away state. If the robot's really close, it should back up. If the robot's a little bit further away, it should turn left or right. And if the robot is really far away, it should move forward. Here's what the state machine looks like, and here's what that looks like on the robot.